Hello all. In this video, we are going to see a naturally aspirated diesel engine and its basic parts. I am just going to go near a single cylinder naturally aspirated diesel engine and then show you various components and one important aspect before starting the engine that is the concept of decompression and the decompression lever. Let's start with the basic. So uh, here is the air suction filter for the naturally aspirated engine. You can remove the bolt and uh, remove the simple air filter and after that you have the fuel oil tank which is a diesel oil and usually it appears to be uh, somewhat blue in color since you are using uh, sure diesel oil in this uh, scenario and after that what you can see is the cylinder bonnet top cover box within which you can find the tappets or the rock rams what I'm operating now is the decompression lever and here is the decompression lever which is on the exhaust valve now this is the other view as I operate this decompression lever it depresses the exhaust valve or opens the exhaust valve so that as you manually crank the engine you would be able to rotate it you can see very clearly that the decompression lever when it is on it opens down the exhaust valve into the cylinder chamber so that the compression is not happening and you can crank the engine attain the momentum and as you attain the momentum you can release the lever and close the valve and here are the tappets adjusting screws and that's it with the box we can uh, see the fuel injector here so since this is a single unit uh, diesel engine you have only one fuel injector and the lines are from the fuel oil tank the return line is going back to the fuel oil tank and what you see over here is the fuel oil filter and the fuel oil pump so this is the suction line to the fuel oil pump from the bottom of the tank with a drain valve going to the going to the fuel pump which I showed over here it's a little bit dark but here is the fuel pump and the suction filter and from the suction filter it goes directly to the fuel injector so through this line it goes directly to the fuel injector this is the line and it goes to the fuel injector and the return of the fuel injector goes back to the tank you might have some pressure regulating valve for the fuel oil or the diesel oil in this single cylinder engine which is normally adjusted by hand and the return goes to the tank so that's it with the basic of a diesel engine in the future videos we'll see how to adjust the tappets and opening and overhauling of such diesel engines